this diagram scares me. All I want you to notice on this thing is this, this contraption, this long contraption here on the left-hand side. This is a rod of your eye. You know, your eye's got rods and cones. The rods see the difference between uh, white, I mean, black and white. And uh, cones can tell color. This is a rod, so it's, it's able to sense uh, uh, lightness and darkness here. And uh, inside this rod are all these discs on this end of the rod. That's why it's called a rod, because it's long like that. And uh, these discs, here's a blow up of the disc right here. Uh, we're going to go to another screen right here. And the whole purpose, so this is a cartoon, that I want to explain to you the process that goes on. Now, I'm going to use some big words. I don't understand them all, but I'm, I'm going to try to explain them the way I've heard them. And uh, you're not going to understand it all either. But my whole point is to just kind of blow us away and say, wow, that was incredible. What a system it is. Uh, that, that allows us to, to see. And so here's, here's the rod cell wall right here on this rod. And inside this rod, you've got these discs. So I've cut the disc in half. So here's the cartoon starting out. So here we go. Um, we're going to see what happens when a photon of light. Now, a rod, by the way, is able to sense a single photon of light coming in. That's as sensitive as you can get to light. Um, and so in the dark, the rod normally has plenty of these CGMP or cyclic GMP molecules like this. Uh, they're steady being created and every, it's not no, no photon of lights hit or anything like that. And so one of these uh, cyclic GMPs is sitting over here on top of this sodium channel like this and uh, that keeps that sodium uh, ion channel open allowing these, these sodium ions which have a positive charge. An ion is just a, a normal atom sodium atom, it has missing a few one of its electrons, and so it's got a po net positive charge for an ion. And so these sodium ions, you know, your sodium is what comes from salt, and your, 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 all your tears, everything's salty, I and mean, you got to have a lot of salt in your body. That's why there's a lot of sodium in there. It turns out that sodium is very important here. And so uh, this little hole in the wall, this ion channel, acts like a gateway allowing these sodium ions to go from the outside and the inside and freely kind of move back and forth. And so you get a net no charge across this wall right here. Now, so the sodium ions pass through and everything's, everything's fine. Inside it's still dark. And so all of a sudden somebody turns the light on. And now I want you to notice this 11 cis retinal. This is this little curved red thing inside this rhodopsin molecule right here, this rhodopsin protein right here. And when a photon of light, it'll come from up here, when a photon of light strikes that thing, this 11 cis retinal molecule, it snaps out straight. It, it isomerizes and snaps out straight. And then uh, that acts like a switch, which gets this whole chain reaction occurring here. And it causes this rhodopsin molecule to open up a binding site for this transducin molecule sitting over here next to it. And uh, on that transducing molecule, there's this another molecule called GDP attached to it. And it causes the GDP to fall off that transducing like this. And then the transducing has the ability to bind onto yet another protein called phosphodiesterase, this green thing right here. And this whole contraption, uh, then it has the ability to cut these cyclic GMPs and turn them into regular GMPs as opposed to cyclic GMPs. Now, the cyclic GMP has become scarce in here. Remember I told you the cyclic GMP was what caused that uh, sodium ion channel to stay open? Well, there's no one, so because it's scarce, there's not one attached to it. And so it closes now, and all of a sudden, the sodium ions begin to disappear. And now you've got a net, uh, a surplus of sodium ions positively charged on the outside of the cell wall and a net deficit of sodium ions negatively charged on the inside of the cell wall. That sets up a voltage across the cell like a battery and then it ultimately sends an electrical current down the nerve to the brain which we interpret as vision. Now that's an incredible process like that. Uh, now the brain interprets millions of these signals coming from these rods every second and that's why we get, you know, it looks like a motion picture out there. The whole process occurs in about a, in a split second. And so this is, by the way, Darwin's light-sensitive spot.
the thing he started with. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I remember the whole purpose was to just blow your mind there. This is, by the way, why your eyes get so tired after reading for so long. <laughs> Uh, although it looks complex, keep in mind that this is just a simple cartoon overview of the process. It's a lot more complicated than what I've described to you right here. And everything has to be put back like it was in order to receive the next photon of light, by the way. And so uh, that's the eye.